Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Thursday, May 14th, 2020, 5-14-20. Your work for Word of God today is to read Waiting for God's Messenger and then talk about it uh, with your family or think about it, uh, the questions that are on the second page there. It asks you to actually look ahead in some of your stories that we will, would be starting next year for fourth graders. You'll be doing something completely different. Uh, but next year in our room, we'll be studying the New Testament. So it asks you to look ahead to answer some of those questions. Uh, you have a memory treasures to tell me today, two of them. So make sure that you either take your videos or call me with those as soon as you can this morning. Homegrown butterflies, we should be finishing that all up today. Your last page in your packet, make sure it's red, take your AR test on it, so on and so forth. Uh, an epic book to read today and an AR test on that. Third graders for math. Do a math action, something, I don't care what. Don't need to show it to me, don't need to record it. Do something that has to do with math. Anything you can think of. Maybe think of a problem for someone else to do. Grade four, you have tests today. And uh, one of the things I wanted to remind you of, you have a performance task. There are a lot of things to do on this page. They give you a lot of space to work. Don't write too big, but don't write too small, but look at and figure out how many things do I have to do? What do I have to accomplish? Okay, so think about that before you get started with it. You have a lot of things to do there. All right, um, and take your time and double check your work. It is okay with me if you use a calculator to check your work. That is just fine. Uh, in Wisconsin history, we'll go through our answers for Wisconsin wildlife, and then um, you'll take your test on that today. And then you'll start your work on famous people and landmarks. A lot of things to read about in this one. And so underline, you know, take the time to underline or highlight um, important information that you find in here. That could really help you with your test, okay? Uh, so let's go through our answers. And um, I'm just going to use, go through it and tell them to you rather than using the other camera today, all right? Make you see my face instead. So uh, we're going through the answers of Wisconsin Wildlife. The Lake Winnebago system contains the world's largest population of what type of fish? And that is Lake Sturgeon, L-A-K-E-S-T-U-R-G-E-O-N. Four across, how many of Wisconsin species are on the threatened and endangered list? 18, E-I-G-H-T-E-E-N. Number five, what type of bird is named after its characteristic call note? Chickadee dee dee. C-H-I-C-K-A-D-E-E, -E, only one chickadee -E there. Um, which is North America's largest rodent? Number seven is the beaver, B-E-A-V-E-R. Did you hear? The strands found a rat making a nest in the bushes in their courtyard. Ah! There's a rodent for you. <laughs> Number eight across, which animal stands on its hind legs to smell and see better? And that is a black bear. B-L-A-C-K-B-E-A-R. And number 10, animals with gills and fins. Hmm, that's a fish, F-I-S-H. And our last one going across, what rodent digs homes for skunks, foxes, weasels, opossums, and rabbits? Well, that friendly woodchuck, W-O-O-D-C-H-U-C-K. I guess we should have said how many homes can a woodchuck dig instead of how much wood can a woodchuck chuck? <laughs> Going down, the largest animal living on Earth, number one, the blue whale, B-L-U-E-W-H-A-L-E. -E. And I never really thought about it, but I learned something new reading our lesson today, and that it is the loudest. I never really thought about that. Hmm, how about that? Makes sense, I guess. It's the biggest. It would make the biggest sound. Number two, animals with tough, dry skin covered with horny scales are reptiles, R-E-P-T-I-L-E-S. And what member of the dog family likes to climb trees? Uh, six down is a gray fox. I didn't know that one either. G-R-A-Y-F-O-X. And number nine, animals with feathers and wings. Hmm, that one's for the birds. B-I-R-D-S. All righty. And on this lesson, it told you how to give an oral presentation, which I said was very important information to hold on to for next year. In the one you'll read today, you're going to learn how do you be a good listener when someone else is giving an oral presentation. And that's an important skill to have as well. Okay, so um, test on Wisconsin wildlife today. 
start to read and do all the work that goes along with famous Wisconsin people and landmarks. And then that test will be tomorrow. And then we are almost finished. Uh, fourth letter today. And for most of you, that is your last letter uh, to our nursing home residents. I did ask a couple of families. I had just a few that needed uh, one more set. And so a couple of you will be doing another set. But uh, the, your last set after today, if you were, um, if I asked you to do that one more set with your family, and you can ask anybody in your family to do the letters with you. You don't have to do them all yourself, okay? Uh, make it a family affair. And you don't need to show me a copy or send anything to me on those. Those are just, thank you for helping out. I appreciate that. I know the residents really have appreciated it. Um, I did get some letters back for Raleigh and Micah, no, excuse me, for Raleigh and Malachi and Isaac from some of the people working at um, the Hope Residence in Belle Plaine, Minnesota. So that was nice. Maybe we'll get some other ones. All right. Um, I think that's it for today. If you have any questions, make sure you give me a call. Have a great day.